everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently got to see Maleficent, which I thought was absolutely amazing. It, it really was. The special effects are just glorious. Angelina Jolie as Maleficent, they couldn't have chosen a better actress for the role of the Enchantress. Actually, she's a little bit different in this, and I'm not going to say how, but um, it uh, retells the tale of Sleeping Beauty in a, a new and innovative way, I think. And I've always loved Sleeping Beauty ever since I was a little girl. So, of course, I had to see this. It brought back a lot of nostalgia for me. And I actually like this version a lot better, to be quite truthful with you. And um, I'm going to be writing my own fanfic about it, so be on the lookout for it. Uh, I thought that the storytelling was absolutely magnificent. The visual effects and um, CGI, absolutely stunning. It, it just transcended that. It was something that caught your attention, drew you in, and you were completely enchanted, entranced, and transfixed. And <clears throat> it just was ethereal to look at, I thought. Just everything was absolutely glorious. Um, I loved all the different creatures in the moors, and I, I thought that they were um, just extremely um, sensational. They were just positively beatific in the way that they moved, and very airy, and just perfect as far as I was concerned and of course the, the music was done by um, James Horner who is one of my favorite composers of all time and I just thought that the movie itself was you know it's a sleeper but <laughs> sorry <laughs> bad joke but it truly is a film that the entire family can enjoy of course little children might be a little bit uh, frightened by Maleficent herself, but she's a complex character, and I actually felt a lot of sorrow about her. She's very multi-layered and um, multifaceted, and she is a very intriguing being, I should say. Um, it's not always cut and dried <laughs> in the fairy tale world, I think, and that's what makes this so in interesting. It, it's just uh, really quite a uh, beautiful film and it really speaks of the, the power of unconditional love rather than true love and it's it's really quite lovely I thought. I, I got a little bit choked up but <laughs> near the end and I'm not sure why but I, I just did. It's just something that took me off guard but as far as films go, I give Maleficent two thumbs way up and five stars, hands down. Go and see it. However, if you have um, younger children, I would I would probably wait until they were older because there are some moments that are perilous and there's quite a bit of action and adventure that happens, a lot of fighting. <clears throat> but it's... Uh, well, if they understand the elements of fantasy and can grasp that this isn't real, it's a fairy tale world, then they'll probably be okay with it. But if not, then they'll probably be freaked out by how uh, powerful Maleficent really is and how actually how powerful she becomes. But um, other than that, I can't really say there there really isn't anything objectionable in this. It's, it's just sumptuous to look at. It's just eye candy and ear candy and it's just so wondrous. It truly really is. It's just a really magical film and it just, I don't know, it, it felt spiritual. For me it was spiritual but I guess it's because you know I always really identified with um, Aurora because uh, when I was little I always thought that I was a lot like Aurora. I'm not a brat like Aurora is but I mean the other Aurora but this I, I I can relate so much more with with her because I feel like I'm connected with nature around me and um, animals they'll come to me and uh, 
I wasn't really sure why, but ever since I was just a knee-high to a grasshopper, I've communicated with animals, and we have an understanding. I've saved a couple of finches, I saved a bow-tailed grackle, I saved a hummingbird's life. And uh, just the little birds, they'll come, and butterflies, they'll land on me, and you know, I don't think of it as anything unusual, it's just, I guess they understand that I'm a kindred spirit, and I will take care of them. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> I am a custodian, I guess, as <laughs> you would say. Maybe custodian's not such a good word, uh, good word, probably, a. Uh, Maybe gardener. <laughs> I don't know. How, how would you say uh, protector? Sentinel? <laughs> the sentinel of the forest. I like that, the sentinel of the forest. Um, this movie is really quite, quite lovely, and it, it just is absolutely breathtaking. It will just move you in so many different ways. It's just really splendiferous. Go see it. <laughs>